Dean, it's been a challenging week for the club, and you mentioned how, how proud you were of the players after uh, after the South End match. How, how, do we, how do we bring that positive energy into uh, Aldershot tomorrow? Obviously, that adrenaline's left me now, so you can be a little bit more calculated how you speak. Um, but I always speak open and honestly. Um, this is what we're paid to do: is to be involved in football matches and be competitive within that. And I think for the majority of the time, we've been that this, uh, under myself this season, apart from when we played the big sides like Wrexham, Chesterfield, and Stockport, where they're just with the floor has been way better than us. Very competitive during the night. Um, like I say, our performance was, was good. Controlled the game well at times. Just started off a bit sloppy, a bit nervy, and that's understandable for the week we've had, or the early part of the week we had, the Sunday and Monday that we had as a group. And um, So yeah, look, moving on to Aldershot, this is what we're paid to do. This is so important that we focus on football. And then we need to start picking up some points. We need to be a little bit tougher to beat. Um, and like I've always said, even when we're winning games of football, as much as you can win three on the bounce, I win four out of six games this division, you can lose four out of six games this division. And that's never changed when we are winning. And I'm always the same whether we're winning or we're losing, because I'm very level-headed in this business, because I've been <laughs> a long time now as a manager, 11 years. So it's, um, it's a good test for us. It's a great test for our character. Um, to be fair to Mark, he's changed his philosophy which is surprising. He's a big technical manager, big on rotations, and he's gone really, really defensive. Um, they play 4-4-1, they defend the goal deep, and um, they play on the break, to be totally honest with you. So we've got to make sure that we don't get counted on, and we don't give away any silly fouls, um, and we've got to make sure that we're organised well enough to not concede sloppy goals. You, you mentioned it there that you know you're looking to see uh, see from the players that we're going to be tougher to beat. How, how do we make that happen? Do you feel? Well, we've only had one training session this week, and since the COVID situation last uh, against Notts County, we've basically only had two training sessions in over two weeks, which isn't ideal. It's not an excuse; it isn't ideal. Um, but look, we have to handle that, and we have to get on with it. Um, and it's just a test of our mentality. And we've got a good group of players. We've got an honest group of players. Um, and everyone can see that in the performance you know, at South End. And we just need more of the same. We just can't start with that sloppiness. We've got to defend our box a little bit better. Um, and that's what we've walked on today, really. It was, it was a bit of a cagey match against Aldershot last time. A, a moment of quality from, from Rob Hall won it for us. I'm sure you're looking for the same uh, same again from, from him. If you, if you give me that now, I'd, I'd snap your hands off. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so look, yeah, you know, Hawley's, Hawley's been a real leader this week. People might see that off the pitch. He's been a leader. Um, that's why I gave him the armband on Tuesday night. Um, he's led by example, and that's so important. He, he should be. Uh, he showed a lot of courage. Um, he's not been at the football club long, but he showed a lot of professionalism, a lot of courage in the short space of time he's been here, especially over the last week or so. Efron's also been a, a real threat alongside uh, Robert. He obviously went went off injured. How, how's he looking? Yeah, F so he's got a dead leg. Uh, he's not available. Sam Beard's back, which is positive. Obviously, F is a blow to us. Everyone knows my feelings towards him at Air Football Club. Um, and we've got uh, Harry Taylor back from suspension, who was obviously uh, suspended for five bookings in the last game. So, um, yeah, look, we've got a stronger squad available to us than what we had on on uh, on Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully uh, we can penetrate the game plan and, you know, worst case scenario, don't get beat. Mazza scored a good goal against Southend and, um, and, he, and he really deserved it I thought, felt for his performance on, uh, on Tuesday night Yeah he led the line really well people might have noticed but Mazza's just had a baby and stuff like that, he's had Covid over the last six weeks so he's had a tough time um, he's just had a newborn his first child so you know, I was congratulating him and his family so a lot's gone on in his personal life and he just dipped his form a little bit in and around that period sleepless nights I suppose um, but his professionalism has been excellent with us and he's starting to look sharp again He started to look sharp a couple of weeks ago in training just before the Notts County game um, and then obviously we've had this little break so testament to him and his performance sure he deserved his goal and um, hopefully we can get a goal or two out of him tomorrow and, and, and just a word on our supporters that you, you should be travelling uh, there to, to support us in, in their numbers tomorrow uh, what, what have you got to say to them? Yeah I want to thank them for the support over the last uh, few days I know it's been difficult for everybody at the football club, uh, it's been a frustrating time, um, but we have to move on, we have to move on, and collectively we've got to do that together, more than ever, you know, uh, we all make mistakes in life, we all do silly things at times, do you know what I mean, but we have to make sure that we are focused on how we stick together through this tough time, um, and that's the only way you get through things in life. Um, well, look, there's a lot of very honest people and good people at a football club and our supporters are a massive part of that. They've been so positive with myself and the players 
and we want to thank them for that and long may it continue. Hopefully we can put in a good honest performance for them tomorrow and give them something to share though.